Okay, League. Let's go. No, but this shit's actually really interesting. This is why. Like, it's just all the same murders, and it's like, holy shit. Cool. So I think I, I think I got two out of the three things right. I think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. No big deal. Oh, no 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 but Angel, he's a young man. He's a sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure. A woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Using people's backyards. Man, imagine having backyards like this. This would be crazy cool. Not much privacy, but freedom at least. Okay. It shouldn't be lagging anymore because I did restart my Xbox. Okay, where are we going? Isn't there, isn't there like, I should be able to look at the names, right? There's no names, nowhere. Nowhere to be seen. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit! I got the police. Why are they fighting? Solding off some baby. I got nothing to say to you. Ow. He's fucking knocked out. Come on, man. Oi, come on. Ah, oh, I got fucked. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! Why did you fire? You think I killed my own wife? You get the whole place of going over, and then talk to the neighbors. <sighs> okay. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. How about your shirt, huh? No clothes anywhere in this room, that's very strange. This is hat. Oh, yo. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. What? This will take some explaining. Very strange. Hmm. Just picked fruit market. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. 
Okay, we gotta check the neighbors, I'm guessing. Anything out here? Nope. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Okay. Oh, he's screaming the place down. <laughs> no good. Nobody here. <clears throat> hey, sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last Fuck's night? Sake. Yeah. Second of all, fuck. Still in Discord. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Okay. Next room. Shit. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Now what? Advice? Search the place. Just one solid piece of evidence, and this is done. Yeah, all I found was that blood shit. Where do I have to go? There's still something here. But you bastard was in the way. The El Dorado. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars too. So check it out. Okay. Fuck's sake. Knew it. Mercury custom. Let's go. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 K, Captain Donnelly, Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown, urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11 K, en route. Another letter? I thought. It's <sighs> hot. Yeah. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Let's see what this bar is first. Just down the road. The crime scene's right there. What the fuck? You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. God. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, that guy is weird. Okay. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Oh, shit. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Jesus Christ. Huh. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. <clears throat> Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Why would someone lie about this? Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Come back to that one. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Okay. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Fuck it. Did she leave with anyone? No. She wanted a cab, but my payphone ain't working, so I couldn't call her one. Motherfucker, man. You've been a big help. Motherfucker. No problem. Motherfucker. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. How? How? One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. <sighs> Fuck's sake, bruh. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? You're a modest little person with much to eat. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? I think he's a bit of a gangster. He treats me nice. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Son, you're a couple of slates short of a full roof. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Thought I was really? about to talk to the fucking if usuals. You smart, you'd still be stupid. What now? You drove me up to Mohawk. What the I'm fuck? Not a loss. Search around. If Antonia was as messed up as we hear. Maybe she left physical evidence as well as witnesses. Man, I'm trying to Say, talk to honey, everyone. No one's. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. A 
waitress. Can I have another spoon? So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? Fuck's sake, man. This is a fucking joke. Much to be modest about. Maybe she left something when she walked out, maybe? I don't know. What the hell are you doing out here? Sir, do you work here? Okay. Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market mm. delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell him where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Now we can go to that place, probably. Why is everything just... <laughs> My wife is so dumb, she stares at the orange juice for hours. Well, fuck. I don't know who to talk to. So, yeah, I'm dipping. Going straight. He's going straight to the car, so I guess that's what's happening. You would, bro, you would have thought that guy would have came here, like... Guy in here, bro. Very strange. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with ink. I'm gonna have a drink on Maxims. Oh my god, best drink ever, I swear. We gonna go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? <clears throat> Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? That's the what the fuck is this? Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Hmm. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. 
Shelly. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. I gave his wife a tap. I said all the way. Hmm. Very strange. Coming here and doing your job for a second? Oh, wrong one. My bad. Your suspect My is bad. in interview too. Bro, he was not in there before, okay? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Okay. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but... We weren't getting a divorce. You deny killing your wife? Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? Thanks for my fucking question, man. Fuck! Fuck's sake, I think I needed to fucking bring up the fucking signed papers of the divorce. So your wife paid you a visit last night? What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Yeah, but like, how the hell does that... Sorry. My mistake. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around... Midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Motherfucker. What time did she leave? Maybe one o'clock. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Do the How? words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Motherfuck, that's so stupid, man. Seriously, what the fuck? Fucking annoying game, man. Seriously. I say we bust the goddamn evidence. No, wrong room. Did I unlock a new outfit? Yeah, I did.
God damn it, man. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit. Help! Shit, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get to the market. The guy on. behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off. Get out of the car, buddy. Sir, get out of the car, the please. Get the gun in the glove compartment to shoot you! What the shit? Hello again. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. Hey. From the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. But didn't he say that he was wearing it on the night? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Okay, okay. She seemed to know the guy. Nice, nice. Good thing we got that one right. Okay. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. You got really defensive. You got really defensive there. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight? What the fuck? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours. What crowd. the fuck? Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The fuck? What the? What the fuck? Why? Wait, what? How is that fucking bad cop? What the shit? What? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Long time no see. Do you Three mind if correct. we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Hmm. Ooh, a big green door with a spot. Huh. 
prohibition. Oh, stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. <sighs> if only it was prohibition, bro. <laughs> yep. Oh, what the fuck? I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? Oh, this what? thing needs a combination. Oh fuck, we have it somewhere. This one's like six, right? Nice, I remembered it. Bro, what is this doing? What is this doing here? What the fuck? This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Get that bastard. Must have been fucking. <laughs> Shit, bro, trying to get away in a fucking pickup truck. God damn it, get out there, Cole! Wrong fucking way! I'll try to shoot out his tough. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps! Now who's about to get picked? Oh shit, shit. Belts, you gotta get me closer. Fine, get that fucking tire. Fuck. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Get the fuck out of the car. Got nothing to say, huh, buddy? You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. No way that was him. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. That's... I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now. On your way. What the sh- There's no way he's the murderer, man. Seriously. Let's see what the fucking no was. Angel might be innocent, but he was far from forthcoming on the state of his marriage. Okay. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? 
They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Shoe slaying. What the hell is going on with this shit? Another woman. She is drunk. Hey, lady, get out of the road. Fucking hell, man. These guys, this good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning. See, the thing is, is in the fucking clips, it's always a slim guy, and, and then we go and fucking find the guy, he's not slim at all. Shall we trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Oh. Now, the fresh business Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles are possessed in the short case. Okay, He's good finish. looking for a policeman. Drove me up to Mojave. Greetings from sunny California. When's it going to stop? That's the slowest man alive, I swear. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up to San Quentin, they'll always be killing from this town to San First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Better be careful here. That guy there will lead us up. Damn, he really took this fucking person Stealing out. myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, partner. Get used to seeing him. You're the gig when you're working a homicide, pal. Let's be careful here. Let's be careful here. Okay, time to just stop here. Should we? Detectives? Phelps and Galloway. Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm risking shit, man. I'm not risking anything, bro. Mutilate. Okay, so she's no, not naked. This one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. 
And no handbag or other personal effects. Oh, rope again. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Anything? No, nope, nothing ripped off this hand. Nothing ripped off this Never one either. Same, are they? Okay. Nothing else, okay. Interesting. A random dollar. Five dollars, sorry. Sorry. Fuck these no footprints, man. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. No. Need to go soon, man. Yeah, the fucking brown car. Our driver brown, and our killer brown are car most likely one and the same. What was that brown car from last investigation? That never really got fucking the light of day, did it? I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. I'm gonna go soon, man. I'm gonna go, need to go for gym again. Just wanna get this all this shit done and over and done with. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? <laughs> I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior so Laundry good. Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thank you. Okay. Go get this hobo in custody. One second, let me just get back in this fucking car. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back in the next one. For now, I'm gonna end it. So, goodbye for now. See you in the next one.